welcome everyone in the last session we discussed about overview of prem as well as all the four major components of prem and how these components interact with one another i discussed in the previous session that in the upcoming sessions we would be seeing each of these four major components individually in much more detail so with that in mind let's get started in today's session we are looking upon sap som which is full form is subscription order management som is an integral part of n2 and sap prem solution it's a business process developed in sap for the purpose of addressing generation of fees for periodic usage of lights and consumption of fees for the actual amount of measurable usage as of sap s forana 1809 it has been folded into sap s forana som is the starting point for sap prem as it manages contract life cycles and product catalogs including bundles of services and physical goods once these activities are done som creates orders that are then fulfilled by core sap erp system the order information is then passed to the next component sap cc for charging or rating definition and processing equipped with the following specialized features som allows a company to effectively manage its customer by creating flexible ways to meet its customer needs now let's take a look on all these features the first feature product modeling with product modeling products can either be services or physical goods such as a pc you can use subscription products to subscribe to such services especially if the service is paid by a pay per use model product modeling provides specific attributes and settings for leveraging payment models using recurring fees and consumption model fees now the second feature price modeling with price modeling subscription order managing uh, subscription order management processes recurring fees usage fees and one time charges it uses these various types of fees to determine the price in convergent charging and convergent invoicing system now the third feature master agreement a master agreement is a contract between provider and another company that we use to manage b2b scenarios it is used to define long term relation between customer and service provider using individual prices products and authorized groups these terms are then later used on subscription orders and solution quotations now the fourth feature quoting and order capture solution quotations and solution uh, subscription orders are used to offer customers a combination of products product bundles and services once released they automatically trigger the creation of subscription contracts and other follow up documents like sales order or service contracts now the fifth feature document distribution the distribution of subscription document is critical in fulfilling subscription order and contract terms across systems like billing charging and other fulfillment system the document distribution is implemented by order distribution infrastructure framework also known as odi framework and last but not the least contract life cycle management a subscription contract manages its long term agreement for a service that the provider company offers to the customer now since we have understood a little bit about som from theory let's see what everybody has been waiting for let's take a look in the live system of how som looks like so this is a typical fiori dashboard and these are 
some of the fury apps that we use in our day to day lives when we need to interact with some module one thing to note is that since the som getting folded into s4 hana and scp s4 hana releasing fury the only way the only recommended way i should say to interact with som is via fury apps there could be some previously built gui transactions during scp crm era which might be able to help fulfill some of the requirements but as per sme sap's recommendation we should be using fury apps only now let's take a look on fury app manage subscription orders okay so this is how um, subscription order monitor screen looks like at above we have different filter criteria based on which we can find out our desired subscription order for example transaction id which is nothing but order id then we have process type which could be sales order or change order then product is nothing but our material master sold to party customer master apart from that we have other types of filter criteria as well like ship to party transaction type which is like order type then we have payer description created by contact contract account etc now let's take a look on how the result screen looks like once we click on the search button this is how a uh, result screen looks like and we can see that it has following columns like transaction type description transaction id sold to party posting date as well as error status which would show whether this order is on some error or it is completely error free for example some we can see are having no errors while some containing some errors and we can see the corresponding life cycle status that the ones which are containing errors are in open state but even if it is no errors that doesn't mean that the system is completely free it is some could be on released state some could be on open some could be on in process some could be uncompleted apart from that let's search for some let's see some other fury apps similar to subscription order we have subscription contract fury app here we can see that apart from our usual filters of uh, subscription orders we can see additional filter options as well like situation item equipment contract number technical resource id activation status product start date contract end date etc here is a list of other filter criteria that we can use and we can see here as well there uh, are various columns as part of result criteria which could give us a brief explanation of which subscription contract we need to pick up on just like subscription order here also we have error status and life cycle status now let's take a look on one subscription contract as we can see subscription contract document and subscription contract item just like our typical sales and distribution or even we can say mm also follows the same process then we have contract history where 
it will uh, we can see based on which subscription order it was created and this is the typical subscription order screen looks like we can see we have order details items parties involved state system status organization etc other details here we have items for item number the quantity contract number etc as well as technical resource id we jump back to the contract here we can see the price details that what kind of prices is it the unit the end value with currency and everything so this is how a typical som subscription order and subscription contract fury app looks like in the next session we will take a look on convergent charging thank you